Welcome back to beautiful Utah for the Utah State Championships presented by MVP Disc Sports. We've got round two today. Where are we? Are we, Corey? What's the word? Uh, we are at Walter Frederick Morrison Disc Golf Course here in the heart of Salt Lake City. It is such a treat to be filming a tournament here. This is where the scene is. This is where the action is. It feels like Salt Lake Disc Golf. Love that, man. Here are our scores coming in. we got a three-way tie at the top, Merle. Yeah, Brock, Kai, and Lucas Thorsness, all with that six under over at the Mountain Course Brighton. Uh, Kessler Martin rounding out our lead card, but warning, completely different golf here at Creekside Park. Much more like park style, um, you know, traditionally more like a par 54, <laughs> some spread out shots here, but gonna be a ton of fun. Nice, man. Uh, talk about home one here. Yeah, par three, 474 feet. So one of those classic par three and a halfs. Uh, don't really see a ton of the field birdieing it. Um, OB on the right side, you see the cars there where the street is. And then that little cliffside and bush line on the left plays as more of a natural OB if you, uh, you know, hang something too far off that way. But uh, yeah, good hole to get it started on. Not a ton of pressure to birdie it. Just throw, throw something smooth, get on your way. Shepard, looks like he's doing just that, Corey. Yeah, I, he's not Mr. Distance, so a hole like this, I think he's perfectly happy just chipping it on up. Mm -hmm. We saw him yesterday. Back to the action, Kai Kim. Kai, big power, left-handed arm. Shapes up well for the hole. Yeah, sure does. Will this fade in time? Oh, right on time, Corey. <laughs> perfectly, man. Another Whoa. foot too longer, it might check up down that hill. That's great. That was big time on a hyzer angle. Thorsness. How are we looking, Corey? Eh, it's, it's leaking a little bit far left, but honestly, the fairway is so open that I think he's going to have a pretty routine up and down. And back at it again is Kessler Martin, who hates this drive. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of room for drives you hate on this hole, though. You see it just kind of peters out on the grass. Yeah, as long as you don't hit, hit it right. Mm -hmm. Shepard throwing two. Nice little chipper. Yeah, it should work for a three. Martin, his second. It's it's nice to have these little intermediate shots early in the round, like shake off the nerves. It's not too mm -hmm. much to ask. Nice little forehand touch there. And Kim, to grab a stroke on the card. Corey. It's in, man. He's feeling himself. That's such a good get. It really is, man. Kai is so stoked for this tournament, too. He's uh, recently moved to the area a couple years ago from college. University of okay. Utah, so okay. stoked for him out of the Seattle area. But he made 475 look real easy, Corey. Dude, nice and smooth. That kind of like yeah. hyzer flip still inside of a hyzer the whole time. Very good. Yeah, that was not, not a distance shot, you know? The distance line, anyway. The rest of the gang cleaning up hard, but hard loses a stroke to Kim and grabs a solo lead. Yeah, you know he's excited to put down a good score out here. This is his local course, as it is with, you know, most Salt Lake City disc golfers. Another round disc golf is just around the corner, so this really plays as the local hub for all your golf. Look at this tee shot, Corey. I know, 320 feet, par three, tunnel off the tee, trees all up and down the fairway, and an island down by the green. Dude, this one's a doozy. Uh, reminds me of the fort yeah, a little bit. Oh, so the first like seven holes are very much going to give you four vibes. Like huh, it's very cool. similar ground, uh, like trees, foliage, very similar. Uh, we're flying through the gap that you're really trying to make off the tee here. And now we're sitting on the island. Uh, drop zone about 40 or 50 feet to the left of the basket if you miss it. So even if you hit a real early tree, you're really taking a four at worst. Okay. The Kim forehand is underway. Very well-rounded game, man. Great side on. Serious. He is solid. Shepard. Bronco and T Bird there. I like the play, but just a little low is going to miss the island. Copy. Forceness. This is one of those holes that got the road right behind you as well, so you kind of got like car. Not razzing, but just that energy. Mm -hmm. Does not play go onto the island nicely. To the drop zone goes towards this mark. 
I like this. This is just perfect. Wow. Kessler with a dime off the tee. Good From the shot. drop zone for three, Shepard. Very drop fair drop online. zone, though. You know, very fair Hit. drop zone. Makeable. Forceness? Oh. Gave it a bid not to be Kim for back-to-back -back birdies to start the round? Let's yes, go. Sir. A little bit right side, you know, a little bit weak side on the putt, but I'll tell you what, low right on a lefty putt, that goes catch. This man has a two-stroke lead after two, wasting no time. Thorson, this is to clean up bogey. Island holes, kind of a theme out here at uh, Creekside Park. Hmm. This tournament layout, I think we're going to have three three or maybe even four island holes by the end of the round. Um, and, and a few of them have some like trees and stuff to navigate early in the flight as Kessler taps in his birdie. So kind of a unique course design, I feel like, for this hmm. course. Right on. And Shepard will clean up bogey. I guess the lead is three, isn't it, Corey? Wow. It is. Uh, jumped out quick there. Um, Kai putting his stamp on the round early. Sure enough. Leaked like a his, little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to say, man, I, I like his form, man. It's so smooth coming out of his hand. Everything just feels very natural, you know? It does. What's the play on three, Corey? Woof! Uh, survive in advance on this one. 375 feet of knifing, like, lefty backhand, sidearm blading action. Um, you can see here the drone flying out into the field, and then it's going to cut back into the trees here. You're really wanting to land essentially where the drone is now and play that blade skip up onto this hillside. I, I don't think a lot of players in the field are standing at this tee thinking like, sweet, birdie hole. <laughs> is roller at all an option here, Corey, or does it just not shape? I, I honestly, I think, we'll, see, so you see that concrete that they're just uh, putting in. Should be noted, an insane amount of construction on this course as Kai just... Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Annihilates this hole. Um, should have mentioned, though, an over a $200,000 grant has been given to this park and the course as a whole. A lot of new infrastructure going in. You can see uh, in, um, irrigation throughout the entire park, stairs, sidewalks. It's all about eight, 70 to 80% done right now. Obviously, they were hoping to have it done by the tournament, but uh, that concrete right there that you're seeing is kind of a roller blocker. Gotcha. The shepherd forehand, oh, it looked good, just did not find edge in time. Yeah, I got eight up. Thorsness. Too much air, I think, honestly. I really think you want to be, like, low screamer, you know? Yeah, like kind of that backhand we saw from Kim. Exactly. Yeah. Shepard, a little work to do with his second. Going entropy, I think. It, that'll, that should work for three. You like, it, you like his chances anyway. Martin has a look at birdie. That's all he does, yeah. though. Yeah, just I mean, looks it, at it. <laughs> yeah, assessing is just fine. Yeah, it sure is. Thorsness, that's a half go. It's a horrifying green to putt on, man. You can see the drop off just behind the basket there. Mm -hmm. Shepard, clean up par. Brock is solid, Corey. Brock is solid, man. I'm convinced every club has their own version of Brock, you know? Kind of yeah. like not really concerned with the, the latest tournament news, all the Tour Series discs out there, just like a grinder, making putts, never scared of the moment. Such a good guy. Speaking of making putts, Kim, three, three for three. three. He's on a mission, dude. You could tell, man, just at the first tee, he was serious. He was, uh, you know, feels like he wants this one. This is a four-stroke lead now for Kai Kim. Posterizing this lead card through three, Corey. He's here, Look man. He's ready to ready to make a statement at his home course. Dude, man is a certified baller. We're gonna send off to a quick break. We'll be back in just a few. Hey everyone, James Conrad here with Team MVP. I'm just gonna talk really quickly about my team series, Neutron Detour. My first disc with MVP was kind of known as Bindi James. Then we had the Twisty James Zenith. And then we're kind of finishing that little series with the Stretchy James Detour. 
This past winter, I was throwing them all over the place around Charlotte. It's just a ton of fun to throw in the woods. You can get some really slow flip ups, ton of fun to throw the detour around, and this is a really cool stamp, I think, so check it out on the MVP Pro Shop. Walking into the store, every single disc that we have in the shop is gonna do something different. We've really focused on offering everything from your stock, you know, Innova molds to just like the weird and wild parts of disc golf. It's great to just get to try everything and not just stick to one little niche. Anything from the tilt to the rollo we try and carry. We're up to about 30 different brands in the shop and like I think over 600 molds. Every mold flies different, and that's what's fun about disc golf. We are back to the action. Huge shout out to our friends at MVP in another round. Get to hang out there, Corey, for a little bit. Oh, I've been there like two or three times already. Dude. It's the spot to go, man. You hang out, talk with Ben, pet the puppy, get a little booch on tap. It's a good time. Dang. What a place. Uh, look at a four. It looks pretty gettable, maybe. Oh, never mind. No. Never no, mind. No. <laughs> and I would say whatever the opposite of is a good time, in quotes, is, that's this yeah. hole, man. 390 feet. You're bobbing, weaving through all of these trees. Um, this is actually playing to the normal pin of hole nine on the course. Uh, so that's why you're not seeing, seeing maybe like a super pure true line. You could tell there is some gaps to get there, though. Kim making solid progress. I like his chances for at least a par. Exactly. As long as you make it to like that last grove of trees, pretty routine par. It's, it's when you hit early where it's just brutal. Martin shaping. Let's go, Kessler. Oh my gosh, no way. Kessler turns around to the card. He says, yes, that was the gap I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> I love his humor, man. Yeah. This one is leaking quite a bit left. What's the story over there? It's, it's wide open. Uh, he's on the fairway of the uh, a hole we're going to see in the back nine coverage. Okay. Uh, but it's just wide open, easy pitch to the basket. You know, puncher's chance Thors? of a birdie. <laughs> Fair enough. Thorsis leaks the other way. And we're now looking at that for his second. Looks pretty wide open, though. Brock, Brock gives me like Lewis Bittney, Roger Kanzler vibes with those long putts, kind of like shooting mm. them from the knees almost. Yeah, yeah. It was a little long. You like his chances for the comebacker, no? Now, Thorsness. Not Excuse a bad spot to be, honestly. No, right? Green light on the putt. Oh, hoo -hoo. Off the cage. Kim. Keeps it clean. Gotta keep it clean, man. With a start like that, three through three, you know, yeah. a hole like this is not a gimme birdie. Get off, keep moving. Yeah, he's got some great gets in that first three as well. Mm -hmm. Kessler eventually tapping out here. What a shot, man. Just knurled up for it there. Beautiful. 390. I think Kessler has like the professional get the disc out of the basket vibe going for him for sure. Like there's no local player there. Hand wave yeah, into yeah. the crowd. He's on it. One more look at this Martin drive. That earned a drop in birdie. Next on deck, hole five. What's our play, Corey? Oof, this one's a doozy, Ian. Par three, 340 feet. Um, Miss the trees. That's essentially your mm -hmm. goal on this one. Uh, it's going to break pretty sharply to your left as we come around this corner. So righty backhand hyzer or even like a late turn lefty or sidearm play to just hold into this tunnel. Um, if you can crest this little berm right here, you have a pretty good opportunity at birdie. Anything that is to the right, left, or short of that berm, pretty much laying up for three. Look at this green too. Exactly. Very guarded. Yeah. Martin, after the birdie, takes the tee. Pushing a little long. Not bad. No, yeah, not bad. Kim? This one's tough, man. I think lefty flick on this is hard. 
He's at the corner, more or less. More or less, yeah. Um, you know, at the bush line, should have a pretty chip, pretty easy chip up for three at least. Shepherd. I like this, like with the T-bird play, more of a like hmm. halfway to a straight finish. Yeah, he's got a clean putt too. Mm -hmm. Thorson is still looking to get on the board today. Where'd we go? Off to the left side in those trees. Pretty much no look at uh, birdie. It was it That's was difficult to see happen. coming in because it was so far off to the right. Gotcha. There is the Thorsonist pitch out. I'll have that for three along with Kim. A couple of birdie looks coming up. First of those, Shepard. There he is. Yes, Oreo. sir, dude. He knew it. That was I a love perfect it, putt for Brock. I, I love Phil McBrock, man. He's just like, he good vibes, good player. Yeah. Just feels right. With you. Feels like disc golf. 100%, dude. Yep. Martin, a nice putt of his own. Matches that birdie from Shepard. Great birdie, He's dude. In. I mean, flying the drone, I'm like, man, these guys are going to like, this is a birdie? Like, who's going to birdie this? And then we got two. <laughs> yeah. Impressive yeah. stuff. Forceness. That was a par. And there's a par for Kim. And Kessler and Kim doing things, but Shepard gets on the board with this big putt. Boom. Love it. Clutch putt, always a factor out here. We filmed him last year at Utah State, so you know he's going to be in the mix. Absolutely. Where are we going on six, Corey? Oof, hole six, another island hole. Um, pretty short, 239 feet, but really you must hit the gap off of the tee. Um, gentle right to left fade at the end is great, but the basket is maybe 15 feet from OB, just on the backside there, so it is definitely a touchy shot coming into the basket. Wow, and this no one's sliding playing a, under this green too. <laughs> no, and it's playing a half a stroke over par, so it's not just like wow. your chip it up easy, easy island hole here, you know? Martin, up first. That's uh, not going to be the island, Corey. No. No, it's not. No. Uh, you certainly want more than that. Shepard. That'll work. Nicely done. Going with the rock, too. A little Brock in the rock action. <laughs> you love that. <laughs> Kim flexes the forehand. That. Country. Not ideal. No. Thorsness still looking for his first birdie. That's not going to do it, Corey. No, he'll have to wait till the next one, unfortunately. He will. Advance to the drop Good. zone. You can see here it's about 60, 70 feet. That's a Kessler Martin putt right there. Let's dude, go, dude. That was sick, right? Like, <laughs> so controlled. Perfect. It was just a no doubter the whole way. You know? I know. I felt the same way. I'm like, oh my God. And Brock turns around. He's like, bro, I knew you were going to make that. I felt you so locked in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Kim, can he back it up? No. Oh my gosh, did that almost go it, over Corey? Yeah, I mean, yes, an inch higher, and that's wow. leading off that. And Thorsness gave it a bid, but stays on the island. Shepard for two. His putt kind of gives me like Dana Vici vibes, if that's like a throwback. Yeah, that, that is. That's accurate, though. Bogey, first of the day for Kim. Thorson, that's his second. And Martin saving par from the drop zone, keeping it clean. Look at this one. Look at the that, pure dude, spin of this putt, Corey. Seriously, no step, perfectly spun. One of those, again, one of those putts that feels like a feather in the air and a brick at the basket. Yeah, man. Wow. Looking at the next, what's our play? Ah, uh, man, tough, dude. Just try to keep a good mindset as you're playing this hole. Don't get overwhelmed. Uh, par three, 320 feet, but it is essentially like a candy cane shape. You want to throw something that's going to hold straight for maybe 200 feet, 215 feet, and then have like a tilt level over stability at the end. Uh, you want it to blade into this low lying trees. I, I, I just don't totally know what one would throw to get it up inside the circle, but it's uh, going to watch it. Thumber roller. 
Oh, obvious. thumber roller, of course. Yeah, thumber cut roller, actually, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shepard is trying, Corey. He's trying. He went, he, he rocked the Brock again, uh, and I actually like the play. He was yeah. intent, kind of playing it more straight than I think my brain would tell me to, but I actually like the play. Oh, boy. Martin off the fairway. We'll hope yeah. for the best there. So there is a sneaky little Mando off to the left there just to keep you from throwing over the island on the next hole. Oh. They both Dang. made the island, or made the, well, they, they did both make the island, but they made the Mando, uh, and so they are going to be able to play their lies. Okay, that's good news there. A clean drive from Thorsness. Yeah, just a, it, it hangs doesn't a kinda, little long. Yeah. Martin throwing two. Not playing to that basket. Not playing to that basket. He's got a chance, Corey. That's impressive, he's, man. He's got a chance. And poor Brian, man. I'm like, hey, coming up and over. He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. hey. Did he have his catch cam helmet on? Oh, yes, of course. Got the, got of the course. Hat. <laughs> Kim going over the top. That's a gem, too. Also Even better scaring. than Kessler. Yeah. Long look at two for Thorsness. I don't even. This is like. No. Yep. Yep. That's what that was. That was a layup for par. Yeah, working for a short look at three. This one, though, he's got a chance. Yeah. Shepard for birdie. And not to be there for Brock. A look at par for Martin. Can't save par this time, Corey. No, and after the hot start Kai had, you know, looks like they're all going to... Oh, good putt. Good save. It was. It was. Him and Kessler are going to be knotted up, though, after uh, just for on the round. After, you know, kind of surprising after that start from Kai. Mm -hmm. No, Kai's got two strokes on Corey. Well, net. I'm just talking about for the round. He went three through three, uh, and all of a oh. sudden, after six holes, seven holes, we're all knotted up at deuces. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. On the round. Yeah. Like the day after a bad sure. chili cook-off, Ian. <laughs> we're knotted at deuces. Wow. <laughs> Shepard in. Grabs his par. I can't hit a par on this one. I can't imagine there were too many twos. No, very few. Nice spin out of Thorsness there. You'll take an easy par on this one, I think. Yeah, two out of 40 players got the birdie on that one. Really? How about that? Yeah. What's the pro play on a court? <laughs> you tell me, Ian, because you looking right now is about as convinced as I'm going to get. Uh, hole eight played 0.65 strokes over par. Oof. There is OB everywhere. Um, you can't quite see it right now in the drone flyovers just because the okay. they painted them, the construction came and mowed the lawn, but the flags mm -hmm. are up. It's essentially like a serpentine strip of OB along the ridge of this hill. The best play, I think, off of the tee is to just barely crest this hill and try mm -hmm. and just land into a little pocket they've opened up uh, of inbounds. Then you're approaching the green from there, but Brock... Yeah. See, he, he went with the rock, played it a little bit too short, and now he's going to have to just simply re -tee. Gotcha. Oh, wow, really? The miss is long. Like, see, you see Kai here? He's really cheating on the long side of the OB. You know, he's out of bounds, but at least he made ground. He gets the progress. Exactly. Gotcha. Thorsness, will we see one in bounds? Little up, little high, oh. out of bounds as well. But he, so he caught ground. He got long enough to at okay. least you know play it from the hill. Martin, I like this one the most. What? What? What does that mean, Corey? That is in bounds, baby. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Re T out of Shepard throwing his third. That one looked perfect. That was money, right in the landing zone. That he he up, uh, went up to the T bird there. Obviously, the better choice. Thorsness, his third. It's in. 
<laughs> Isn't that the weirdest layup you've ever seen? Max Bauer that driver. <laughs> yeah. Kim, his third after the OBT shot. He's attacking the green. It's close. Oh my gosh. I know. Essentially a rethrow. Really? Mm hmm. I mean, he moves Shepherd up a little is... bit, but. Oof. Shepard's fourth. Oh no. It was in, yeah. though. It was in, so right? they caught the ground. Exactly. She's, she's marking it. Okay. Them. So I'll have a putt for six. Yeah. Kim throwing four. Oh, no. Just needs OB. Again, it's crossed in bounds. I'll have a putt. Yeah. Yeah. Martin, the jump putt second. <laughs> Honestly, calculate. Like, brilliant. After yeah, watching no. that just debacle happen. Mm-hmm. Super smart. Pick up your strokes if they're throwing them your way, you know? Mm-hmm. He does it again, Corey. Yeah, incredibly well played. Honestly, that shot yeah. right there, like, it's so important after a layup to capitalize. Feel that. Oh, no. my goodness. No. No, oh, my you cannot do that from there, Corey. No. No, it's not a shot you want on camera for the rest of your life that's for sure but no. he's back yeah. up i like the sidearm approach there nice and easy yeah shepherd mm. that's gonna be a big number kim to stop the bleeding <sighs> almost popped it out dude we're we're working out the magenta today <laughs> oof these scores don't don't make a, that common of an appearance. Thorsness to clean up. Also a big number coming. Yeah, we're looking like straight jackpot, but in the wrong direction. Triple sevens here, man. Man, how smart is uh, Martin looking right now? I, I, seriously, <laughs> I, I I like after this after this hole is over. Kessler uh -huh. just kind of does his thing here. It got me thinking, like, what is the most total strokes we have ever filmed on a single hole? Hmm. This has oh, got to like be up there. Oh, from a card? You know what yeah, I mean? 20, yeah. This is 25 strokes on the card. This is going to be an 8 right here? That's a 7. It's a 7? Okay. 7, 7, 7. <laughs> Oof. I, Oof is right. I don't think we've ever seen that, Corey. I, that's kind of where my brain was at. I, I think a slight redesign to this hole would be nice. Um... I don't know for sure what I would do to change it, but something I think needs to be adjusted. But having said that, they all got to play the same hole, you know? Man, I, I didn't know tournament director Chaz was so diabolical. <laughs> well, you could, that, I think he got it all out on that hole, straight up. Like, that was bad. I think he did. Uh, <laughs> Love moving that one, Chaz. On to, yeah, so moving on to a separate part of the property on the other side of the creek. Apparently, for uh, many years, this was part of the course. At some point, mm. there was some neighbor situation. They got these baskets removed, so everyone's real excited to be playing these two holes. It's kind of like a nod to the past, something you can only do in tournaments, and I think they haven't done it in a while. So, real uh -huh. fun to be over here. Love that. Martin coming off a fantastic par, where he grabbed three strokes on the card. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah. No. Often yeah, or yeah. ever. <laughs> Uh, this hole is pretty routine, straight in front of you. Um, the, really, the biggest danger here is the roll away potential on the green. And if you air it over the berm, there is OB, just like on the backside, you know, if you fall off the cliff there. Gotcha. Not a great drive from Martin, a great drive out of Shepard Kim. You love his chances on this hole. An even better drive here. Oh, my. I mean, this one's made for him, though. It is. <laughs> it's a Kai Kim hole. Absolutely. Thorsness. They actually had them teeing off on these like kind of plywood temp tees that they surfaced oh. with like a grippy. I don't exactly know what what to describe it, but essentially it's like a green grippy spray paint, and it was actually pretty oh. effective, honestly. That's cool. Shepherd for two. Oh. Thankfully, it doesn't go anywhere. Thorsness. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a little good to get on the, on the board, off the schneid, as it were. Sleepy legs. Looking at the force in this comebacker for par. Boom. Lucas kind of, if, if you're local to the NorCal area, which like seven of you are, kind of plays like a Brady Oak. <laughs> Putt reminds me a lot of him. 
There is a good par out of Martin. Kim, casual birdie. Good bird, back on track, man. The, the hot start obviously wiped off with the magenta triple there, but get back on the horse. Keep on trucking. Yep. And a shepherd par. The scores they have been uh, they've been shaken up as of Very, late. Yeah, strokes going everywhere, Ian. Um, yeah. Hard to say who's gonna finish strong. You know, it's just difficult to keep your head up after a hole like that. Kai obviously getting the birdie, looking to capitalize on the back. Hopefully, there are your scores through nine. Kim and Ooh. Martin at the top. Can they stay there through round two? We'll catch you in the back nine to find out.